Hello, this is Dear Damson and today I am going to do a butterfly and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm going to do a really cool technique so stay tuned to find out what that is. And what I did is I'm using wet on wet technique and put a lot of water on this canvas. Now to be able to do that you need at least 300 grams um, weight paper so um, otherwise you're gonna have problems with a, a little bit thinner paper but I am dropping three colors in that space and it's yellow orange and a little bit darker red it's almost like uh, crim crimson red and um, I'm just kind of helping a little bit here to merge but we're not trying to fill in this area I'm really trying to make sure that the canvas is wet um, very wet until we get to the next um, technique and next step and I'm going to do the same thing for all four wings And if there is not enough color, just um, drop a little bit more um, because the color is going to start mixing real fast. But I don't know if you can see how much water is on that canvas. It's really um, almost like puddles of water. And here is what I'm doing. So I will be lifting part of the color off so with that technique and very wet canvas so we have to do this before it starts drying i'm lifting um, and kind of giving that perfect wing without too much work if you see how the light color just stands out and all of a sudden we have outlines for those little um, shapes in the wing and it's super easy so I had to go a few times in certain areas but the most important part was if you see a color getting picked up too much from your paint just go and wash your brush and dry it so you can lift enough of the color and pretty much that was the, um, the coolest technique that will make it so easy for you also um, I did not wait until the yellow dried so I'm going uh, with the black and leaving tiny bit space between the wing the yellow part and the black um, Just so they those two don't start mixing But if you wait for your wings to dry the yellow and the orange reddish part Then you're gonna have very easy time filling in that area and if you're interested in the traceable it is on my facebook page and you can find a link in the description below for that and i'm using the traceable for the blue butterfly and when i'm filling in the black area i'm not filling in just with one brush stroke i'm trying to create like a different weight to the black paint because it's going to make it a little more like fuzzy looking more three-dimensional so I'm kind of bouncing a little bit not just making um, one more stroke but I'm kind of lifting and putting it down while I'm filling in that area and I will do the same thing to all four wings and it's pretty much cleanup time um, I'm going to go around and fill in, and fill in ever, any area that is missing something, either orange or red, um, and I'm going to fill in the border between the black and the yellow too. And I'm really trying not to take away the paint that I lift from the canvas in the beginning because that pretty much is making the wing look more like a butterfly wing without a lot of work and I will put on the side of my painting all the colors that I'm using in a second so you're gonna see what colors you can use but you can use any colors that make you happy it really will not matter you can just use purples and, and blues or any color you can make a green butterfly any color so this is the part where I'm working a little extra because I didn't wait for the wings to dry so I'm actually trying to fill in the space between the yellow and the black. And 
I am using purple and you're gonna see in a second I am gonna start pulling in some of the purple from the black towards the part, the yellow part. And I'm trying really not to go too further down, but kind of follow the line of the, um, the ones that we created from a little bit earlier with the lifting, lifting technique. And again, just trying to fill in and make it a little bit more brighter. I'm gonna do a couple more things and I think you can even leave it here but I'm gonna do a couple more things to make that space on the back look more like we worked hard on it so this is the colors it's um, purple black red two different reds orange and yellow and blue I'm going to put a shadow on the butterfly. I do that to probably all the things that I paint. I never leave them without a shadow. It just makes them a lot more three-dimensional, but you can do that or you don't have to. And again, just make sure your um, black is dry before you go in there with the purple because then the black can really go into the purple and kind of mess the thing up. All right, so I'm signing here, but we're not done yet. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a L shape, a wet canvas right here. So, and I'm gonna drop blue and purple in those corners and spread it around. And that will make our canvas a little more filled in and it will look so much better. And pretty much that's it so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give us thumbs up let us know what you think or what you want us to paint and that's it thanks for watching happy painting